Hi, welcome to the part one of this mini series. All right, if you haven't watched the previous video, which was the introduction, I recommend you to watch that. So if you finish watching that video, let's dive into it without any delay. So as you can see here, I am using this avatar. I always use this because she's cute. Whenever I make dress, 99.99999% of the time, I start with a basic block shape which is typically a t-shirt shape. So in this stage, my main goal is to fit my garment on my character. You always have to double check that the garment should never be way too tight or way too loose. Just make it comfortable and you are good to go. All right, if you have a hard time making this simple block, please let me know in the comment and I will try to make a video about it. And I already said in the intro video that this is not a beginner lesson. So, I hope you already know how to make a simple pattern. Okay, I spent a while to make this dress feel better. So as you can see, the dress is not very tight or very loose. So my main goal is completed. Now time to make the sleeve. Again, I start with the basic sleeve pattern and then I will modify it. After spending a little time, I get the basic shape of the dress, which is pretty important in this stage because when you add a lot of details later, it will be really, really hard in Marvelous Designer to make the basic shape again. All right, to make the sleeve a little bit fluffy, all you have to do is increase the size of the pattern. It's so easy. All right, now time to make the sleeve band. I just create an internal line and then cut that and decrease the size and boom it's 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 that simple okay to make this a little bit nicer i just layer clone over and then sew them together and you can add two internal lines on both pattern and then sew it together it will create an amazing effect so that's that's amazing and then you can copy that into the right side or the left side with symmetry of course do you know what is the thing that interests me the most about any dresses it's ruffle, of course. So yeah, the sleeve ruffles, it looks amazing. And trust me, it's really, really easy to make. So all you have to do is just create a rectangle and sew it with the sleeve. But always remember the rectangle's length should be way, way bigger than the place where you, sh where you sew them. So the more you increase the pattern, the more ruffle it creates. Awesome. Okay, now the front ruffle on the chest. Damn, it looks amazing, really. To make this, all you have to do is create an internal line where you want the ruffle pattern to be shown. And when I have the basic shape of the front, now I just select the segment line and trace as a pattern. Trace tool is an amazing tool, by the way. Just remember it. After tracing the pattern, I just sew them together. And now it's a little bit stronger or tighter. I, I hope you understand. Okay, to make the bottom part of the dress look better, I just add a band and sew them with the upper dress and do the same thing as the slip band. If this is your first time making this, this kind of stuff, then it will be really, really difficult. A little bit. But, you know, these are the things which make a dress even better. So try to make them. All right, now you already know how to make a ruffle. It's pretty easy, right? So I'm just doing exact same thing as the sleeve ruffle. Just draw a rectangle and sew them with the internal line. All right, now time for the zip on the back. And I hate the zip in Morpheus Designer. So I found a little alternative. You can use the zip though, it's not a problem, but I will not use it. I, I don't like it at all. I will create something that will make the effect of the zip, not a functional zip, of course. Okay, please hear me out. This is optional. You can follow this process or you can create a normal zip, which MD provides. All right. So I add internal lines on both pattern. The length is one centimeter. Then I select the lines and then trace that as a pattern and then sew them together and then select the trace pattern and then superimpose under so they are now underneath of the main pattern and then select this line and offset as internal line and please watch carefully the length should be one millimeter 
and number of offset should be 2 and simulate. Alright, this is the part 1. If you're still watching this boring lecture, thank you so much. I tried my best to explain things. I'm a horrible teacher by the way, but I did try. So if you get something from it, please like this video and please comment down as feedback so in future I can improve my content. So thanks again and see you in the part 2. Bye.